Hi, I'm Vince Gill, and we're about to look into this box, and I don't know why, but let's do this. There's some artifacts in here. We'll start with this one. This is a picture of me playing the guitar. It's a shocker. Um, this is a song I wrote for my mom. After all these years of writing songs, the very first song I ever wrote was for my mom. I never recorded it and never will. No, I don't think but three or four people have ever heard it. But uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty neat song, just uh, about kind of being grateful, you know, for, for all the years of, of having such a great mom. My mom's 93, still lives alone, and pretty awesome. Great old farm girl. And uh, this is just a, a song that's kind of in the form of a letter. So it says, I need to write a letter, put it down in black and white. Phone call just won't cut it. Not the way I feel tonight. A letter to my mama from the bottom of my heart, and I'm sorry, it's a real good place to start. Wrote it with Dean Dillon, great songwriter. And uh, my mama got to hear this with headphones, and I wish I could tell you what she said, because it was priceless. This proves that I had a jawline at one point in my life. It was the 80s, but that's no retouching. I was that handsome. This is my second record. Uh, a little pool hall in Nashville um, on Melrose. And I used to go in there and shoot pool a lot. And funny thing about this is, is uh, there's a picture of my daughter Jenny um, from at some point in her life and we actually look identical, which is sad for her, but great for me. <laughs> and speaking of Jenny, this is a picture of Jenny. She's over here. That's yours truly in the middle, and my sweet bride Amy in the, on the, this side. And that's the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You don't have to pay that much to get one of these. It's, it's just cash in a, in a bag, and, and they'll give you one. No, this isn't. Is this the Hollywood? Yeah, it is the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And uh, I always, Amy got one of these before I did. I always teased and told, told everybody it was, her star was right in front of an adult bookstore. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, that's my that's my boss. That's my new boss. He's a good one. Hard to believe I'm singing these songs, but I am. Pretty pretty un amazing gift this time of life. I wish there was some pizza in here. We're in New York. You'd think you'd put a good slice in there. This was uh, pretty hard to believe, um, a replica of my plaque of my induction in the Country Music Hall of Fame. I'm glad the other dash isn't in there yet. Put that off as long as we can. <laughs> but uh, my, my favorite memory of getting this, I was inducted with Ralph Emery, the great radio host and TV host of all so many country music shows, and also the great Mel Tillis, who stuttered uh, so famously. but. Everybody, when they get one of these, if they get lucky enough to get into the Hall of Fame, they're always terrified that these plaque things are going to look hideous. And I didn't, I didn't do bad, but um, when when we pulled the the drape off of it, I'm sitting next to Mel Tillis, and he punched me in the ribs, and he said, "You you look like a little Lon Chaney." <laughs> but uh, this was a huge night. Huge night, you know, and all it, all it did when I got to be lucky enough to be inducted in the Hall of Fame, my only thought was to now go earn it. So from this day forward, what I've tried to do is, is uh, earn it and not, not uh, let anybody say I didn't deserve it. A golf ball. I'm pretty sure this is a golf ball. It's not a very good one. No self-respecting golfer would play with this brand of a golf ball, but it has my logo on it. This game has been my saving grace for my whole life. I started playing golf probably five years old, and uh, it's kept me out of a lot of trouble. My mama used to drop me off the golf course when the sun came up, give me a couple of bucks for a hamburger and a green fee, and pick me up at dark. Kept me out of a lot of trouble. Love this game. And there's one last thing. This is a... Oh, the new album that I have is called Oki, and uh, it's a pretty neat record. It's a really um, 
uh, emotional record for me because it kind of encapsulates 62 years of my life, relationships that I've had for most of that life. And it's a record that's really, really, really steeped in truth, you know, and, and some vulnerability. And you know, I feel like we struggle awful hard to, to get the truth told to us these days. And when you do, sometimes it seems like you're just getting barbecued for telling the truth. So this is a song full of some tough subjects, a record full of some tough subjects very sparsely played. It's just me and some guys all playing pretty acoustically and very thoughtful record. And uh, after doing it, like I said, for 45 years, this, this feels like the best thing I've ever done. <laughs>